Hi YouTube! Sorry if the light quality is not excellent for video. Um, I'm producing the video myself, doing the editing and putting this together for you. Um, this is a video on the first part of my coal forge project. I made a forge a while back that was just kind of a uh, rigged up deal I made with stuff I had lying around. Used it for a while and uh, kind of broke it down. It's not going to last. So I decided to go ahead and make myself a good coal burning forge. So this is part one. Some things to note. I'm not a blacksmith. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy who got interested in some stuff and decided to try to make things. I've always been creative and I just love making things with my hands. So all of the stuff with steel is new to me. I've made a few knives, uh, made a few other things. I'm trying to teach myself how to weld, but I'm not a professional welder. Uh, got you know, maybe a month experience. <laughs> and I am not a fabricator, so I'll probably drive some of you guys crazy because I put things together for functionality and not necessarily uh, super precise on everything. Kind of eyeball a lot of stuff and just keep going. So here's my part one of my coal forge build. It's pieced together over a period of time. Uh, lots of editing to string things together. So I wanted to put a little intro here and I'll talk to you again at the end. Probably do a voiceover on the rest of the stuff just to avoid repeating myself on several different video clips. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your support. This is a piece of 3 8 inch thick steel. I went to the scrap yard to look for a piece of half inch to 3 8 plate. And they actually cut this for me off of a 12 inch bar stock. So that's what I'm using to form the fire pot. I cut the two long sides 12 inches across the top and 6 inches across the bottom. And then I'll cut two smaller sides, 10 inches across the top and four inches across the bottom. That piece of steel at the bottom will be cut four by six. I struggled getting all four sides of the fire pot to stand up where I could keep it somewhat square and level. So I used a 90 degree bracket to hold those two sides and just tack welded them together and then tack welded the other two pieces to it and just kind of double check the fit on everything. Wasn't able to get it perfect. You can see here on the inside, I had a little gap up in that corner. I ended up filling that with a bead of weld and then took some time to grind off the outside and the inside of those welds to get it as clean as possible. Got the bottom plate just sitting on there. This is a piece of two and a half inch pipe I had laying around. About three sixteenths of an inch wall thickness on the pipe. I'm gonna create a ash dump and an inlet for my electric blower motor. Decided to cut that on an angle instead of straight across like I first held it up. So it gives the air from the blower a little bit more of an upsweep into the bottom of the fire pot rather than blowing straight in on a 90 degree angle into that ash dump pipe. Cut that out kind of square with the grinder. And then I'm going to take that hole over and heat it up in the forge so I can kind of forge that shape where those two pieces will marry up to each other and make that Y that I'm trying to create. I forged this out and flared the sides of that square hole a little bit so that it meets up with the other piece of pipe and makes a nice fit. Got a little gap at the top so I welded a piece in there to close that gap. Now I'm going to make a flange out of this piece of uh, plate steel that I had laying around. Got a lot of rust on it, so I need to clean it up first. But I wanted to weld the flange to that air inlet tube before I put the two pieces of pipe together. 
Got my personal protective equipment, a leather apron, a pair of goggles, and a pretty decent respirator because there's metal dust everywhere. A lot of grinding on this project. I don't have a bandsaw that'll cut this steel, so I have to cut everything with an angle grinder. Lots and lots of uh, metal dust. So I got a rough cut on that circle there, trimmed it up a little bit with the angle grinder, and then took it over to my bench grinder and rounded it off. I'm going to cut that center hole by using my drill press to drill holes as close together as possible all the way around. And I'll have some filing and grinding to do to, to get that rounded out before I weld it to the pipe. Cleaned up the edge of that pipe a little bit where I'm going to make the weld to put those pieces together. I welded that both on both sides and then cleaned it up with the grinder to get my mount where my electric blower motor is going to go. It bolts on with three small bolts. That's how the two pieces of pipe will go together in a Y shape. And then you can see here how they will mount on the bottom of the fire pot. That's a flap I cut out of the piece of plate steel, same one I used for the flange. And I'm gonna make a flap for my ash dump. I welded that to an old gate hinge I had lying around and then added a piece of one inch round stock to the end of it as weight to help keep it closed when it begins to fill up with ash. This is a clinker breaker I designed. Just used a piece of steel that I cut out of the bottom plate and welded that to a bolt. I'll extend that to make a handle for easy reach once the table's put together. Cleaning up another piece of that plate steel to make one inch strips as a lip around the top of the fire pot so I can just set it inside of the hole in the table and hearth where it can be lifted out when need be. I laid out the strips, 10 by 12. I'm just gonna flip the fire pot over and tack weld those strips on. welded those on both sides as well and did a bit of grinding to clean that up. On the bottom side I'm going to spend a little extra time cleaning up the welds because I want that to be able to fit nicely and level inside the table.
Now I'll weld the bottom in place and we'll be almost complete with the fire pot. So here she is, the fire pot is just about done. I actually overheated my welding machine just now and so I gotta let it sit for a few minutes before I can finish up the last couple of things on the fire pot. And then I'll move on to the next part of the project which is gonna be building the table. I got an old cargo carrier that used to fit on the back of my Explorer that's not used. I'm gonna use that as the tabletop or the and the hearth area. Um, Got an old bed frame in the back, steel bed frame, so I'm going to use the angle iron off of that to make a couple legs. Got an old lawnmower that I don't use anymore, so I'm going to use the swivel wheels from that to put wheels on one end of it so I can roll it around when I need to. And I'm probably going to make a hood out of an old barrel that I have sitting here in the shop as well. Not sure what was ever in that thing, so I could be a little bit careful cutting that open. <laughs> uh, but anyway, here's the fire pot just about finished stock 3 8 by 12 inch bar stock the long sides are cut 12 inches across the top and 6 inches across the bottom the shoulder sides are 10 across the top and 4 across the bottom this is an old piece of uh, pipe I had laying around that I fabricated this out of. This flange here is where my blower motor is going to attach. Got a built-in uh, clinker breaker here. I still have to attach a flap that I made here for the ash dump on the bottom. As soon as my welding machine is ready to go again. Hope you're enjoying the build so far. Did a lot of grinding on this. As I mentioned, I'm just learning how to weld. So a couple times I got some welds that really weren't hot enough. And uh, I could see that when I finished it up. So I had to grind them out, and try to do it over again. Um, every once in a while I get a nice bead laid down. Um, but lots of grinding. If I was a cleaner welder, I might not have to grind quite so much, but I'm enjoying myself learning how to weld. I'm enjoying myself building things, and I'm looking forward to using this coal forge to make some knives, maybe even a sword one of these days. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, feel free to post any questions or comments in the comment section below. I appreciate your support. If you're here watching, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Have a great day.